And our second lesson comes from Paul's letter to the Philippians, the fourth chapter. This is a very short segment of his letter, and yet a very tender one. You can tell how much, past, how much Paul loved this little church of his, and how he must be so worried because immediately we see in this passage that there is a church fight going on. We just talked about church fights last Sunday, and now here's another one in the Bible. And yet, Paul writes to them and provides them with this guidance for them and for us. He writes, Therefore, my brothers and sisters, whom I love and long for, my joy and crown, stand firm in the Lord in this way, my beloved. I urge Euodia and I urge Suntuke to be of the same mind in the Lord. Yes, and I ask you also, my loyal companion, help these women, for they have struggled beside me in the work of the gospel, together with Clement and the rest of the co-workers whose names are in the book of life. Rejoice in the Lord always, I say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to everyone the Lord is near. Do not worry about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, beloved, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, Whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing the things you've learned and received and heard and seen in me, and the God of peace will be with you.